did someone steal my toilet? Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today we're in the uh, trailer, just kind of sorting a few things out. I see that mom grabbed the sheets for the bed, so she must be wa washing them for her. That's a good, that's a good deal. Off hiccups. On another note, we had a little malfunction with the shitter in the trailer. So I'm going to tell you a story about the shitter. Captain, we left camping. I cleaned the shitter out. I flushed it. I filled it back up. I flushed it again. I filled it back up and I flushed it one more time because that's what I like to do. I like to make sure my shitter is clean. So I get home, back the trailer, or drive the trailer into the backyard, come in the trailer, and all I can smell is piss. I'm thinking to myself, what in the F is going on? Why does it smell like piss? So I was like, oh, I'll dump the shitter again. So I filled it back up, dump the shitter again all over the lawn. A couple little turd burglars come up. Wasn't too bad though, just a couple. So we did all right there. But anyways, flushed her out again, did it again and again and again. So a couple hours later, come back in the trailer. It still smells like piss. I'm like, babe, there's something dead in the trailer. Something's going on here. I don't know what the hell's going on, but we need to figure this out. So she cleaned the floor and everything. I looked under the beds and looked around here and that and the other thing. I couldn't find nothing. So I was like, this is this is weird. So I said, well, I got to pull the shitter out because I can't deal with this smell. There's something going on here. So I pulled the shitter out. And the inner wall of the shitter was full of piss. Figure that one out. Now I am running, I was running the plastic toilet in this trailer. And let me tell you what, no more plasto toilet. They're absolute garbage. So I ordered myself a better one, the uh, acrylic toilet or uh, whatever you want to call it. You know, the, the, the good one. So I ordered that one. I got it coming. So if you want to see a video on me putting a shitter in the trailer leave a comment down below and don't forget to like i need at least a hundred likes in this video for me to do a video of me installing a shitter i know it's a lot of likes but we got to do what we got to do so give me a hundred likes and i'll do a video installing the shitter but let's take you up front and i'll show you what happened to that shitter so i know that uh you should be able to fix this shitter but like i said i'm not going to fix it i'm going to replace it because i'm not into this plastic crap anyways it creaks and cracks when you sit on it but what happens is if you take it apart like i did there's a seal here well, this seal leaks, look at it. And then it fills this up with your human feces. So if you have a trailer that stinks and you've cleaned the shitter a hundred times, you can't figure out what's going on and you have a plastic toilet, that's probably your issue right there, the plastic toilet. It's just disgusting. I don't even know how they could make something that crappy. Just cocked over, Captain. Wanted to come on here real quick and show you this and explain this to you. And leave me a comment down below if you have the same problem with the shitter in your trailer. Because I always want to know. Curious minds want to know. Just so you know, the solar's working good on the golf cart. It's out there charging right now. We got a full battery off of solar yesterday and the day before. So we're doing good with that. So that's working great. I don't know, well, let's go see what kind of voltage she's making right now. She's probably making pretty good voltage, I'm thinking. Yep, 40.2 volts. Can you see that? Look at that. Just feeding it to it. So that's working pretty good up there. A little dirty though. Why would you look at that? I wanted to give you an update on the trailer and uh, what I got going on right now with it. So this is just a short, short video, but I wanted to tell you, don't forget, 100 likes, leave me a comment down below if you want to see me install a new shitter into the trailer. I'd love to do that for you. We still haven't tried out the welder yet. That's coming up. Stay tuned for that because we've got to weld a few battery boxes on the trailer back there so we can uh, make sure that battery is charging. Actually, let's go check the batteries in the trailer because it's been unplugged and I'm not even sure if uh, she's charging. They aren't facing the sun though. I'll tell you that right now. I got the trailer in my backyard backwards, so they're not really in the sun. Kind of are, I guess. Just not direct sun. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're in the sun. They're okay. So the battery should say full. That's what I'm thinking. Batteries, full. Decent. Do we have a voltage mark here? What does this say? This thing never reads right, so bear with it. 12.2, she's freaking charging. We've got charge connection. So there you go, the solar's work on the trailer too. Frick, just everything that's solar around here is working. That off-grid system right here is working. It's charging the batteries in the garage. That's a 400 watt system. Golf cart's charging on a 90 watt system. Trailer charging on a 200 watt system. House is charging on a 1000 watt system. Actually, no, sorry, I'm 50. <laughs> Not quite a 1000 watts because I'm down one charge controller right there. These are 240 volt panels. Running into the house on a double pole 30. Why wouldn't they? That's an update from here. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. 
Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this quick video. Until next time, you know what to do for now.